Hi, this is Katina. Some of you have been asking me to show you what's in my clarinet case. So here's a what's in my case video. I actually really haven't gone through my case um, in a while, so some of it may be a surprise. I have a feeling it might be kind of boring. I don't have anything really exciting in here. If you go to Bakun's YouTube channel and find the one with Ricardo Morales, he he has his passport in there, which was hilarious because I think he was a little surprised when he found it. So opening mine up, I have my clarinet emergency kit. I made a separate video about this one, which I'll link to in the comments. It's filled with all sorts of things that I keep in here just in case that I need them that I don't necessarily need to have them every single time I go to a gig, but it's nice to have a backup plan. All right. Oh, oh good. We found my granny glasses. My kids make so much fun of me, my husband, and for good reason, here you go. These are my glasses that I needed to get once I hit 40. It was like this magic number and I had trouble seeing the music so my stand kept getting farther and farther and farther away. But when I got reading glasses, they covered up the whole, they, so these are half lenses. They would go all the way up like this. Some of my videos I'm wearing glasses, you can see it. But when I look up at the conductor, then I was looking through reading glasses and then I'd look down and look up. So it was making me nauseous. So I have these which help a little bit so I can look down my nose at my music and I can look up at the conductor and I don't have the two different magnifications there. So yeah, they stay in my case because there's only so much nerdiness that I can do. I have my reeds in a bag. This helps keep them from drying out, which happens here in the winter. I have one of these nice little Diderio humidifier packets in there. I have some extra mouthpiece patches because you never know when that is gonna, you're gonna need one of those. Um, this is a custom wooden case. I got it a really long time ago. It was um, my graduation present to myself. And um, I don't know where I got it, but I love it. I think it's pretty. My reeds are about to fall out of it, but it's not the greatest with you know keeping things from drying out. I just have sentimental value here. And I look all fancy when I have my fancy reed case. So that's that. Let me see. Oh, I just stabbed myself with a pencil. This BAM case has the two little slots here for the pencils, which is nice. I have a swab. My nice blue silk swab. It's like kind of like Christmas. I have more reeds, so I have lots of reeds everywhere, everywhere in my house. I have my reed case with the reeds in it that I've picked, but just in case I don't like any of them, I keep a backup box of reeds in here. I even have reeds in my emergency kit. All right, now I am reaching down in here to see what I have at the bottom. This looks like a wrapper to some gum, which is disgusting, and I didn't know it was there, and I probably shouldn't have gum while I'm playing. All right, it looks like everything is out of here. This front pocket, which I'm really surprised. I thought I'd have more, at least some hair bands. All right, opening up the big part of my case right here. I'm going to show you. Ah, there is my clarinet. Please don't let everything fall out. My two clarinets are here. Um, let me see if I can prop this up on my leg. All right, so this is my A clarinet. Um, it's a little bit bigger. The board's a little bit smaller so that everything is a half step lower. I use it mainly in orchestra. I really don't use it for any of my teaching. Very, very rarely do I use it in teaching. I don't use it in any of my videos. I'm using B flat, which is over here. So this is my clarinet that gets the most use. I have four barrels. So two for the A and two for my B flat clarinet. I have my mouthpiece, my mouthpiece pat, uh, cap and ligature right there. This little thing I didn't put on, but I'll show you how that works. I got it with my my B flat clarinet. You're supposed to put that on so it holds your low E B key down. I'll just leave that for there. I have some cork grease. I have some floral tape. I got this at a floor shop or Michaels. You can also get it there. I'll see if I can peel a piece off. They use it to wrap the bases of flowers for when people are holding flowers or dry flower arrangements and stuff like that. You're not going to see this in um, fresh flower arrangements as much. Anyway, I'm having trouble finding an edge to peel, but I will peel it off, fold it over, and put it on my teeth if I'm doing a lot of playing. Sometimes my bottom lip gets sore, so this is a little bit of cushion for that. In an emergency pinch, this also wraps around a joint if you need, if your cork gets torn or ripped. So I'll put that there. So I did the cork grease. Really very st just standard clarinet case situation. All right, the one thing that's a little bit different that I have in here, if you can see it, uh, this is a charm that I got when I was in Japan. I played in 
an orchestra there with Pacific Music Festival a long time ago, and I got this at a Buddhist temple. And originally there had been a little a little snake on there that wore off, but that's jade and with a little bell. So that's been here for 20 years and I, I just love having it in my case. So that's my case, kind of boring, but I'm happy to show it to you. What's way more interesting is my emergency bag and my teaching bag. So I will do another video where I show you what I have in my teaching bag because there are some fun things in there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. If there's anything in my case that is not there, that should be there, let me know. If you have anything in your case that's kind of cool or interesting, let me know. It would have been great if I opened it up and like a snake popped out or something. Anyway, thanks for watching.